Hello and welcome to the 14th episode of the Sheffield Wednesday Career Mode here on Dexterity Box. I apologise if the audio is a little bit off today. I put the microphone straight in front of my face, but I've not got compressor levels running through it, which means it might be distorting a little bit. And I've got a fan on because it's nearly 30 degrees in this room because this room just traps heat. I can't survive this episode without that fan, so we're going to have to power through it, boys. Which is why the microphone's in front of my face, so hopefully I can gate this, make it sound a little bit better. This channel is... Uh, is doing well currently it's it's it, it's taking off a little bit since i made a steve bruce video it's made me think i need to do more commentary on this channel because i do like talking about football and i might make it a little bit more general as well fifa's not going away but i think i'm going to start doing a few more things on this channel for some new subs that have joined for that kind of video so Watch this space. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about this soon. But back into the Wednesday career mode. Let's get straight into the comments today. And we've got a comment here from CPL Little Leaper 7. Try to get Cancelo if possible. If not, try to get a youth academy. Try to get a youth academy to find young backups. I think that's a good idea. Youth academy would be a decent thing. Maybe bring a keeper through the youth academy. Go that sort of way. We'll have a look. Cancelo is a right back. Okay. Okay. He's decent. Probably a little bit too rich for our blood at the minute, though. Thank you. I say first comment. Nobody really got us in there this week. Did I ask for something specific? Was I asking for keepers? I think I was asking for goalkeepers and nobody got in the comments because nobody watched the video all the way through. So I guess I'm going to look for goalkeepers on my own today unless we've already signed one. I really can't remember. It's been a busy week. Let's go. Yes, I'm looking for goalkeepers. That is exactly what I'm doing. I've put in a... Yeah, let's have a look at these. Right, so... Uh... We're scouting all these. I'll wait for those reports to come back and we'll have a look. Okay, we've got a match away against Spurs, I think. Because you guys have said, can you sim through that? Oh, we've got a Newcastle match. Given my, some of my new subs, that might be an interesting match to play. Tell you what, I'd never usually... I'm going to play that Newcastle match just because of the Steve Bruce situation that's currently going on today. And recently. Um, I'll play that one today and we'll sim the Spurs match. See how well our team can do against Spurs in a simulation, this team we've currently built. I saw a comment saying, can you go through the calendar a little bit more? Get a bit more content into each episode, and I actually agree. I would like to be doing that. Sessignon gets us a goal in the first minute, so that's a great start away from home. However, obviously, there's a lot of the game left. Coming up to the end of the first half, we've picked up two yellow cards. Not much going into the second half when Munir comes on for Lacazette. Munir gets a goal as well. What is going on here, boys? We're doing it. I've built a decent team. Lucas gets a goal for them. But we hold out and we get the win away from home. What a win that is. Simulation's working out for us today. Oh, he's really coming back with this is all the best he's got. These players aren't good enough. You'll have to reject them all. Sorry. I mean, they've got the potential, but I can't be asked to build them all the way up. I do want youth players, but not ones I really have to work on. Let's send him back out. A lot of people want to buy Ezebue. I need to kind of hold on to him as a backup, so don't think I'm going to let him go. Porto wants to buy McCarthy. I could, could do with keeping hold of him, to be honest. For now. Someone will come back in for him if I need to get rid. Right, let's play this match against Newcastle. It actually says live from Hillsborough once you get to the Prem, so it's only in the... What? 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 I'm not... Okay, I was controlling it. It felt like I wasn't controlling it for a second. Can we not let him break, please? Press. Okay, can we can we counter-attack here? We could if Werner had played a better ball to Lacazette. Should have looked on the outside, but we do he does intercept that. Lacazette keeps hold of it. Pulls it back. Pass it across that box to Bardi. Bardi, pull it back. Bardi finds it again. P I don't know why I said P. I was going to say something beginning with P, but it scores. Bardi gets a goal. Keeps it in his feet there. It was lucky, to be fair. I thought I was going to give possession away, but it's a bit of a, a bit of a mess in that box there. That comes back to us there, and then Bardi puts it around the keeper. He is unsighted by the defender there. He should have done better. But it does nutmeg the defender and into the goal. They've got a corner here. Got to defend it. Well, I'm not amazing at defending set pieces on this game. Oh, I could have given a penalty away there, there if I wasn't careful. I do try and throw... That is never a foul. He fell over. 
And his card of Lacazette. Wonderful. Corner swings in. Heart, man. Made that a bit difficult. Play it out really quickly. I have got a team that's a little bit better at playing it out from the back now, which is good because that's what I like to do on this game. Pulls it back. Pulls it back. Oh, he did do well, that defender, but he should have handled it a little bit better there. It goes out for a corner, but it's okay because I'm terrible from corners. Let's whack one in. It's going in the keeper's hands. Oh, no, he punches it. And it's off the line, and what is going on? It's another corner. Trent, don't fall there. Don't fall there. I won't be able to catch him. Um, I just got pushed, but okay. Trent comes back round. Solanke goes for the shot. He did make the run all the time himself. Sessegnon has to skill him. And then gets bullied off the ball. I shouldn't have tried the skill moves there. That is not a good position, but that is an amazing block from the defender. All this off-ball stuff that they tried to do in FIFA 19, they've, they're going to expand on it in FIFA 20, but it makes it makes you select the wrong player and then not run after the ball when you, you want the player to go for the ball. It's quite frustrating. But half-time, we have got a lead. Let's see if we can keep it. Try and extend on it a bit. Money on. <sighs> I handled that badly. Uh, Newcastle's players are pretty decent at interceptions. I lose the ball if I try and stay in uh, possession too long because they do press. Like there. Oh, I was just asking for this. Good save, Hart. Don't know what I'm doing. Bullet header. That's begging to be it. Good catch, Hart. I should have waited a little bit there. That was stupid. It's just going to come back in now. Get it out. Clear it. Good lad. Back in Newcastle's hands again there. Okay, clear it, Sancho. No, not there. That's a slice clearance. That is not good because he's just running down now. I'd, I'd have whacked that, to be fair. Get it out. I'm trying to keep possession. I know I should just whack it, but every time I've whacked it, it's not gone that far. So just play it out. Decent. Bardi. To Escalante. Space for Sancho on the wing, but my players are getting tired now. I'm going to have to make some changes. Newcastle have got the ball again. Bardi's done well scoring that goal, but he is getting tired, so we're going to bring uh, Ward Pros on for him. So I don't want to lose that attacking threat. We could do with another one. I'm going to bring Abraham on for Lacazette because I don't want him to get another card. How does that ball find its way there? That's punted. Abraham to Werner. Sees the space for Sancho, but plays it a little bit oddly. Sancho's running into it, though. Can he play a ball here for someone to get on the end of? Newcastle just about scramble it away. Ah, uh, Rafa Benitez in the dugout. If only, guys, if only. Now you've got Mr. Cabbage Man. I love that. You might have missed it. I'll probably go back on it, but like... The little flick from the throw in there to smack it into the Newcastle player's face so it went out for our throw from a clearance. Decent bit of play. Sancho's getting the tricks and I'm learning how to use him a little bit better now. Abraham. Can he hit a long range one? Comes back off the Newcastle defender. We can't get anything else to it. Right, let's make a last substitution. We're never going to get to make it. There's no point. 1-0 win. We should be beating that Newcastle side, to be fair, with the team I've built on this. But it is good to get the win there. Decent. They are pretty good. They're good at interceptions, that side. They kept stopping my passes, but then again, that's not that uncommon for this game. I am going to actually sim this match against Arsenal. I know you might say I'm throwing the cup away there, but I'm going to play the first team, full strength team, see if they do. Um, but I, do, I want to get more content in these episodes. I want us to progress a little bit more because my last road to glory, we never really got out of this season. I think we got to the third season after like 40 odd episodes, whereas I'd like to do even half those episodes and get further in this one by simming a little bit more and just getting a little bit further on and make it a proper road to glory. Keepers that we can whack on the scout report. Some will be coming in soon. We actually won the simulation. I didn't even let it run thing. I pressed triangle and we won it. Bardi and Mune goals advance us to the next round. So Arsenal didn't play a full strength squad. Hopefully that'll play, pay off for us. It would be nice to win some silverware in this. And we are currently second in the Premier League. I don't think that's going to last. Got some scout reports coming in. Carrius, 81 overall. I mean, if you forget the Champions League final, that's a decent keeper rating. Kalinic, not really what I'm after. Oh, Nana, what's my name? That is the worst thing I've ever done, ever. He's pretty good. From Leverkusen, buying Leverkusen. 82 at 24. I'm going to try and get him, actually. Let's have a look. Let's have a look compared to all my other keepers. Let's have a look at my actual keeper scout reports. 
There's obviously this Michael and stuff, and older keepers. Yeah, they're all a bit older for the same sort of money. I mean, Butland's obviously a shout. Yep, I'm going to go in for him, see if we can do a deal for him. Oh, he's just joined the club, for God's sake. Well, I guess we're not signing him then. We need a good keeper. So I'm going to look amongst the uh, Premier League. Pay the privilege of getting a good keeper. I will in this case, I think. Let's see who's already got a rating because they're world class. Because I'm not going to have to scout report people this time, unfortunately. Carius is one of the top shouts by the looks of it. Okay, let's look for Butland. He's got the leadership trait as well. Let's see if we can make a deal for Butland. How much have we got in the kit? I don't know if we've got enough, to be honest. Oh, no, we've got 43 million. We've got enough. Let's see what they want for him because keeper is a position we need to fill now. We need to get a better keeper in there because if we end up spending like 25 million on Butland, we'll see what we can get him for. Let's let's have, let's have some conversations. Let's let's go in at 20 million. See what they say. I hate that. He's valued at 19 million. Why would that be a ridiculous offer? Come back at me with something, you ass. I guess we're leaving it for deadline day because I'm not spending my entire time now sorting keepers. Deadline day is only in a couple of days. So let's just get this Southampton match out of the way. Okay, so we kick off against Southampton. Kamara gets us an early goal from a centre-back. I know he can play as a bit of a midfielder as well, so he probably pushed forward through that. Williams equalises for Southampton, though. Gets a yellow card as well for his troubles. Into the second half. Moneyan comes off, Ward Pro's on, Penny on for Jorgensen. That is not a good swap. That is not a good swap. Jorgensen's a centre-back. What are we doing here, boys? Can we get a... No, we can't get a win. Bit lame, that. Quick training session. Still build these players slowly because they are still young. We're somehow still in second. I know it's after four matches. Doesn't mean anything. Spurs want to buy Sancho. I'm sorry, I'm keeping hold of Sancho because I'm playing well with him and he's only 20. And you're going to have to pay a lot more than 33 million for him at this stage, I'm afraid, Spurs. Okay, we're going to have to do something about this goalkeeper situation now. I mean, Kasper Schmeichel is rated higher than Rui Patricio, is uh, value-wise. How tall is he? 6'3". Let's go in for Rui, Rui Patricio, actually. Yes, it's probably going to only be a season. Yes, it's probably going to be quite a few million for that privilege. But a good goalkeeper is kind of essential in this game. His traits are a solid player. Wonderful. I mean, Donnarumma would be amazing. They want 43 million for him. Let's go in for Donnarumma. See if we can, like, get him for 40 million with a ridiculous sell-on clause or something. I'll put a stupid sell-on clause on it and try and try and get him. Will you do 40 million? So we'll have... Oh, we won't be able to afford his wages now. It'd have to be... We'll go in with an offer. They're going to say... They're going to tell me to piss off, basically. But if I gave you a full 25% sell-on, no. It wouldn't be that expensive, to be fair, if we wanted someone that could be a world-class keeper, but... Nah, they weren't having that. Thought it was worth a try before we had to settle. Or can we try and go in for Butland again? Will they let us go in for Butland again? Let's see if, if we advance through the day, they'll let us go in for Butland again, because I would like to. Nah, they're really not going to let us go in for Butland again. That's a bit stupid. It's transfer deadline day. The rule should be a bit different, surely. Right, let's go for Patricio. Let's offer him what he's worth and see what they say. They shouldn't get offended when you offer their market value. They want 17 for him. How about 15? 15's a good sum, I think. Well, you're not sticking for your to your price tag. You'll probably accept 15 and a half or 16 if you're saying that. Willing to reduce... Yes, you are willing to reduce the price further. Watch. You'll probably accept this. Talk's absolute balls. All right, let's try and get him on a decent contract. I don't want to spend a fortune on his wages either. Okay, crucial, obviously. He's actually not on a bad wage at the minute. Two years, happy to do that. No release clause. Will you take... I don't know what my other player's on, but will you take 50 grand with a... £600,000 signing bonus? Just take a pay cut to come here. Awesome! So he's on 50 grand a week, which keeps our wage budget down that's a good sign and that is a quality sign and i think that's all the business we really need to do on transfer deadline day this this time out so obviously we've got patricio there and now hart can go on the bench sorry penny i need a center back because clearly my simulation system keeps subbing off my center backs which is not ideal okay let's see if any more business can occur in this day i don't think it will 
Huddersfield spending 34 million. Arsenal spending 122 million, but making a decent profit as well. Transfer offer for Hector. I do need him as back backup, I'm afraid. So I need to keep him right now. Maybe in the future we'll get rid because he is coming towards his prime years. He will want game time. Well, he's in his prime years, to be fair, but I'd like to keep holding him for another year until we've got enough money to buy backups that are happy sitting on the bench. Young backups that are quality. Three hours left. Can we do much? Transfer off for McCarthy. Yes. 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 Six million. Take him. Take him and I'll keep Hart as the backup keeper. Making some money back, which means we end up like, if this goes through, we'll have signed Rui Patricio for basically just 10 million, which will be good. No, transfer talk's broken down. Wonderful. Doesn't go to West Ham, so we didn't sell him. But hopefully, we'll ship one of the keepers out next week. Uh, next week? Next transfer window. Okay, let's advance through. Actually, you know what? I'm going to advance to here in the calendar and see what happens. We're currently with four matches with 10 points. Let's see what happens if we sim through the Huddersfield and the Swansea match. Youth player wants out. I don't know if he's ready. Keeper, scout reports coming back. He was decent, but meh. Monthly scouting update. Anybody good? Not currently. Oh, yes. 450,000. He will be a good one. Sign him. Thank you. 475,000. This is better. This means people are starting at a higher higher sort of um, level so we can actually work with them and get them get them at a higher rating earlier on. So low previous session. Let's take, let's not double down on Kamara as much now. Put one of these left winger, Will Price. Let's put him in. We'll put the other one in afterwards. I just want to see if that completes anything for Kamara. Let's get Kamara to 83 and then we'll take him out of the training sessions. Don't want to manage Denmark. Thanks though. Okay, let's see how the B team does against... Wimbledon. Quite nervous about this because the cup does have upsets in it. FIFA does team to put that in, but Bardi does get a goal. This B team I've not really edited, so it is quite a lot of our first team, in fairness. Ward Pros gets a second. We're into the second half now. They've been making substitutions. We've got a yellow card. Werner gets a goal for us. We have got, obviously, Werner and Munir up front. So it is quite a strong front line. Sesson Young comes on for Leighton Baines. Who Baines is still with us. Bardi gets a penalty, making it 4-0 to us. That is a decent, decent result, and we're through in the cup. Okay, so we sim those two matches. We lost one and won one by the looks of it, because we're still in that we've got 13 points. So not bad. I mean, we should have probably won both of those, but you know. Penny, I don't want to start your Sessin. You're doing well, but Sessignon's better. Okay, Zoom is back. That's good for us. We can put him in for Jurgensen. Okay, so we're simming this match against West Ham. First time I've seen Patricio in a simulation as well, I think. Although I could just be making that up. Bardi gets a goal for us. Then De Jong equalizes for them in 10 minutes, which is not ideal. Kamara picks up a yellow. We're going into the second half. Come on, guys. We need we need three, really. I mean, I'll take one. One will do. That's better. Minian gets a goal for us. Can we hold on till the end of this match? We can't. Lanzini gets an 87-minute equalizer for them that is not ideal we've got 14 points after seven matches not bad right sim yep kamara's at 83 now which means we can change this match to, uh, this training session to put the other youth player in as well have we got any interesting matches coming up oh we've got united in the cup that seals it i'm simming to that match i mean we might suffer in the league a little bit but we will see what happens so let's sim up to that united match just after the arsenal match that's some tough fixtures chelsea everton arsenal Let's see what happens. Okay, 69 overall. That's not good, is it? That probably means we've been losing quite a bit. We're in sixth. What's with the what's with the what's the issue? Oh. We've picked up two points in three matches. We're on a losing run. Oh no, we've drawn a lot. Oh, get lost. Get lost, mate. Put the other young'un in for the training sessions. Okay, the last action of this match is going to be to play this game against United in the Cup. I'm going to use the squad because I've not used this squad. in. I've not actually used this squad yet. I've not used Patricio and Zuma back in it. Obviously, we're not in the best form. We look like we've been drawing a lot. So, hopefully, I can play us to a win here. Get us back on track in a Cup match. Take the Cup seriously because if we're not going to... If we're not going to... 
like get much in the league we could we could try go for a cup run a cup run would be decent okay so this is the only time they're going to come close to us in this career mode by the looks of it because it doesn't look like they're getting promoted in the career mode so let's play this derby steel city derby we haven't had one of these in a little while in this career obviously this is a massive mismatch they've got john fleck in the midfield we've got lacazette up front but to be fair they might slow me down they might slow my play down you never know they probably will to be fair i'll probably lose this well, they just managed to get past Zuma. Oh, I forgot Zuma can't run. Zuma, run! Rui Patricio should not really have um, punched that. But what is that? Uh, <laughs> uh, Patricio, can you just hold it, please? Thank you. Okay, come on, Sancho. Pull it back. Penalty! How is that not a penalty? You having a laugh? They are slowing me down, actually. They're proper hoofing it, you see, which is not ideal. Munian. Wax it across with a cross. Not too good. But we pick it up. That's begging, but Escalante. I don't know what that was. Really have no idea. Pass it back to Werner. Werner hit one. Doesn't get his foot round it enough. Did try and finesse it into the corner. Couldn't bring it back round. Obviously, this is a derby, so class and everything goes out the window. It's just a scrappy match. That's my excuse for when I lose anyway. Money, Anne. Come on, you've made some space for yourself there. He gets brought down and gets nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Absolutely does the defender. The defender decides that he's going to commit GBH. Refere referee goes, fine. Do you want to wear the shirt, mate? I mean, I, w I wouldn't advise it. I mean, that's a bit of a scramble. Get it. Get it. What is that? What is that? It was meant to be a through ball clearly to the other player. Honestly, this the passing on this game is shocking. Is Pez any better? Does anyone play Pez on this in my comment section? Because, like, I'll swap to a game that can bloody pass. Scalanti plays a through ball for Werner. Come on, Werner. Dances around him. Pulls it back. Ah, my thumb slipped off the controller. What am I doing? Half time, nil nil. This is this this should be a little bit better. Doesn't help that we've got tired players, obviously, because I played us a couple of days after the um, uh, Arsenal match. Bringing up Abraham on to the wing. Sessignon plays a good ball to Sancho, who can't control it. This is all on purpose, by the way. The nil nil to to build the drama. Abraham with fresh legs. Abraham cuts through, cuts through again, hits one. Is that a corner? Is that a corner? No. Must have deflected, because it did take a deflection, but it must have hit back into him as he shot it. Oh, that's a good ball for Lacazette. Done him. We've done him with the legs now. Lacazette is begging to be it. Oh, my God, he hits the ball. <gasps> you joking? <laughs> What's cracking? Escalante, look. Abraham's there. Abraham hit one. He scuffs it. He scuffs the ball. What are you doing? Okay, we'll bring on Ward Pros for Sancho, because Sancho's tired. They brought on Lavery. A little snake. To be fair, you are welcome to him. Bardi gets it through for Lacazette. Lacazette's going to get... They like sliding. They really like sliding. That's their first corner of the game. And watch it go in. Because of this game. <laughs> get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Thank you. Ward Pros pick it up. Werner's running through and Werner got round the defenders. He stays on side. He stayed. This is going to be a simple tap in. Tap. Bang. Win. Decent. Absolutely did him. That's why you bring on your subs. You wait for it. You split the defense apart. Simple. Could have shot. Could have taken the goal himself. Could have been selfish. You don't do that in a derby. Their defenders are knackered. They don't make the right subs. Sees it, Lacazette finishes it, clinical, decent. Bring on Moy now, because Bardi is ready for a sleep. Oh no! <laughs> Weren't panicking at all, it's all good. We win 1-0! Any United fan in these comments would be like, oh, how do you have that team and you only beat us 1-0? I would say, why are you in uh, watching uh, Wednesday career mode when you're a United fan? But to be honest, you're that obsessed. Wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, we won. 1-0 win against United. Decent for a derby. 
knock them out of the cup. So let's sim this match against Palace, get us into November, getting us go through that season a little bit more. Hopefully we can do decent in it. Money and gets us a goal in the first minute again. We have got a good side here. Obviously, we've not got Bardi playing. He's having a rest. Fellaini comes back to haunt us again. Equalizers for Palace. Come on. We need to do a bit better than this. Going into the second half, it's still 1-1, but I'm not liking it, to be fair, because they have got home advantage and we are not in the best form. We've brought Jurgensen on for Zuma because our centre-backs must be knackered. We did obviously have that cup match and I played a lot of these players. Is it going to be a point? It is a point. Could be a little bit better there. I mean, they're not very happy with... Oh, it's gone to 74 now because we've gone in that Europa League. Uh, we've gone in the Champions League spot. Okay, board. Fair enough. Quick training session. Not much occurring. And that is it for the Sheffield Wednesday career mode for this week, guys. Make sure you're getting any player suggestions for the January transfer window in the comments. Obviously, let's talk a little bit more about this season. The January transfer window is going to creep up quite quickly. Any good freeze? We are in 2020 now, so any good freeze that we could get around there. We haven't got that much money, so it'll probably be some decent freeze. We'll have a look at all sorts of like that ready for the next episode. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all those things, and keep watching right here on Dexterity Box.